Hey everyone, it's Erin from Erin and Nakoma Beauty, and we are at Envy Lash Studio, owned by the fabulous Tina Evans. Today is all about airbrush tans. I've got Darby here, who is an esthetician, makeup artist, and an airbrush tanner, and she's gonna take me back and spray tan me. Yay! What I wanna show you first is I have no makeup on other than I have some lashes and some eye makeup, but I wanted you to see the difference of what you as a bride are gonna look like with a white dress on and no spray tan and what I look like with a white dress on and a tan and see if there's a huge difference. So we'll head back and she's gonna spray tan me. We're back and Darby just airbrushed tan me so I feel very tan and I think you can notice a huge difference. I don't feel too, too dark, but um, I just feel really, really natural and pretty. So um, Darby, I would like to, I guess, ask you all about airbrush tanning and um, what you recommend for brides. Like, What is the difference between an airbrush tan and let's say a mystic tan or spray tan? Okay, an airbrush tan is more or less done by a person. So someone is going to be hand doing it with a gun. Um, a mystic tan is done by a machine, so you go in there, no one else is in there with you, um, and you get better contouring when someone does it by hand. So all the little nooks and crannies, someone that's even career, is going to get a much better um, job done with someone that does an airbrush tan. Okay, perfect. And I get asked all the time as I'm doing trials for brides, is it okay to spray tan? Do you recommend airbrush tanning versus spray tan? And I will say 100% yes, I recommend it and only do the airbrush. Don't do a booth, it's not as, as reliable. Um, but what I wanna know from Darby, since she does it so often, is some common mistakes that you see brides make um, as they spray tan, as they're getting ready for their wedding. Um, one, not researching um, the, where they go to get them. Mm. Um, so asking friends if they've been there before, have they had a good airbrush tan? Totally. Um, you know, a lot of times people just get a random solution. We really research our solution, make sure that it gets a beautiful bronze color, that it looks no orange. natural. No orange. No orange. Um, and a lot of times a really great thing is to go in and have a practice run before oh, yeah. your wedding. So you can see what it looks like, see how long it lasts, um, because it really, we recommend 24 to 48 hours before your big event. Yes, so I have had firsthand experience of a bride that did her airbrush tan on Tuesday and got married on a Saturday, and it was a disaster. So it was coming off on her neck, they forgot to airbrush her face, so her face was really white, and her body was really tan, and it was so difficult to try to match that and you can't, you can't cover up that peeling. I think that's another big issue, is the cover up. So I'd like Darby mm -hmm. to talk about maybe what exactly gets covered on an airbrush tan. Um, we do our best to cover up anything, but as far as actually you going out into the sun, um, if you have tan lines, we can blend them, but they don't completely go away. So prior to your big day, ah. if you really do not want tan lines and you want a gorgeous, beautiful bronze look, really natural, wear sunscreen, <laughs> big deal. Um, don't go out into the sun for a ton amount of time. You come in and get a beautiful airbrush tan and it'll make you look flawless. It's a big day. I mean, you can stay out of the sun for a week so that you don't have those tans. Yes. And if you really need something covered up, your makeup artist can help with maybe some really good concealer or they have tattoo coverage. And as far as sunburns, we prefer not to airbrush tan you if you get a sunburn because it's gonna peel away your airbrush tan. Oh. So that's a negative. I, now I want to talk about how you prep correctly and appropriately for your airbrush tan on the week of your wedding. So before you come in for your airbrush tan, you definitely want to make sure that you are clean. Um, so take a shower. No dirty birdies. No. Um, so you want to take a shower. Exfoliate is a really great thing because that's going to make sure that it really soaks into your skin. Um, and no lotions. No deodorants, no perfumes. Um, Why? 
anything like that is going to cause a barrier possibly so it's going to make it possibly that the solution isn't going to soak in your skin um possibly make it that um the solution isn't going to stay as long we want the tan to stay as long as possible don't we um so all those things are the best thing to do prior to your skin um, so that you can have the bronze beautiful look as long as possible. And when can you shower? Um, within probably eight hours prior to your spray tan. Okay, so for me, whenever I get my spray tans, and I love them, and I spray tan or airbrush tan a lot, um, I like to wait to shower as long as possible because it keeps that tan longer. But if you want it to really look pretty, then I would get it, like we said, on a Thursday and then just um, shower either the night before your event or that morning of your event so that it still keeps that really beautiful glow. You wanna make sure, um, as far as looking out, we get that question a lot. Um, the sweat will rub off. Um, so, you know, the sweat as far as like your sports bra, oh. in between um, your arm lines. Oh, so, I get those all. you want to make sure if you're having a big event, don't go running. That's the same as going to take a shower. Um, wow. You don't want to do that unless it's a, it's a must. If it's your big day, take a break. Don't go work out. <laughs> take the day before. Off. Yes. Um, make sure and wear loose fitting dark clothes um because those things are going to make sure that your tan doesn't rub off or chafe off so those are important things to know prior to getting your tan um, which is exactly why i am in this outfit as opposed to the white one we did take before and after pictures so you could see the difference between when i was my pale and then when i looked tan but you don't want to wear white you want to wear darker clothes mm -hmm. And though it doesn't necessarily stain all clothing, it will definitely come off most cotton forms. Um, but white clothes, it's definitely going to leave marks. So you want to try and wear darker clothes so that it doesn't show up on that. Yeah. And then shower right before your event and then it won't have much or b any transferring. Once you take that shower. Yeah. yeah. And that's a big concern, I think, with all wedding dresses mm -hmm. is, is it going to come off? Um, which is a great reason why you should do a trial, kind of like your makeup trial. And always do clear. They do offer a clear version, which isn't going to be as dark. It will build up to your more natural tan. So for me, a clear would be a beautiful bride option, but it's not going to make me maybe as dark as I want, let's say, if I had a summer wedding. A couple more things we want to go over about airbrush tanning is... Um, airbrush, we get lots of questions about airbrush tanning, but one is... Does it have sunscreen in it? It does not. Oh. Yeah. If you're going to go somewhere tropical for your wedding, you still need to wear sunscreen. So you look beautiful and bronzed. You still need to wear sunscreen. You will get sunburned. So that's a good thing to know. How about pools? You still can go in a pool, but submerging in a pool in chlorine will definitely fade your tan very fast. So. That's definitely a good thing to do, to know, and in a bath, it will also, any submerging water will fade your tan. I want to thank Darby for my beautiful airbrush tan, and for more information, I will put all the details down below about Envy Lash Studio and Darby and where you can find them. So for more information, tutorials, please subscribe to our channel or like us at Erin and Nakoma Beauty. See you next time. Bye.